Hi, this is Dee now with Digital Hotcakes, and I am in Adobe Premiere Elements version 10, and I'm going to show you how to create an intro for a vacation video using some of the clips from our travel portion of our Home Movie Essentials volume number one. So let's take a look. Okay, now what you're going to need to create this intro is the World Flight AVI, your video or, or vacation photo, the Travel al Album Open .mov, your, your vacation title, and the JetWipe.mov. Now it's important that you get the Travel Album Open and the JetWipe from the folder that's titled Overlays with Alpha Channel because they have the alpha channel it makes things easier for you so let's begin I'm gonna I'm gonna delete everything from the timeline so we can rebuild and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the travel album open on video track number two and I'm gonna scroll to right where the book is about to open which is right there and then I'm going to drag that world flight AVI and I'm going to put it right there on video track number one right there before that book opens okay now this world flight clip is is 20 seconds long and I only need about half of that so I'm going to right click on it select the time stretch here and I'm just going to type in 10 seconds Okay, and while we're on video track one, let's go ahead and drop our photo or video of our vacation directly after the world flight clip. Okay, now let's scroll through until we have our book open and after it zooms into the globe, that's where we're going to want to place our title. So let's go ahead and drop our title on video track number four. Now we're going to add some transitions to the title, so let's go under Edit, Transitions, and the first transition we want to put at the beginning is a cross dissolve. So let's grab that cross dissolve and put it at the beginning of the title. Now our title is going to fly out with our jet wipe, so we're going to use a push to do that. So let's scroll down, and under the slide transitions you see the push transition here, let's drag that effect onto the end of the title. Now we need to change the direction of the push, so let's click on it here and open our edit transition. And as you can see up here, you have four little arrows on each side of the push transition. We're going to use the one on the bottom so it pushes up. And click done. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is add our jet wipe. So let's bring in our jet wipe and we want to place it right between our the, these clips on video track number one. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. We need to adjust our transition just a little bit. You see, let's scroll back. Right about here where the jet's filling most of the screen, that's where your picture or video needs to come in. Now, a quick way to do that, I'm just going to grab it here and drag it over there. Okay. And let's just scroll to that portion of the, so you can see what that did. Okay, now it looks like we have it, except um, my photo here does not fill the screen. So just in case you don't know how to do that, um, what you can do is you can right click on that photo, 
click on show properties, go up here under motion, and just scale it up so it fills the screen. Okay, now we're finished. Thanks for watching.